That game right there is the definitive example of what rivalry is all about, of what passion, grit, determination, and what validation for football fans like myself that just get accused of taking it oh so seriously and why are you wasting your time, it's just a silly sport, is what it's all about. Win, lose, or draw, that was one of the best regular season rivalry games that I've seen from this Philadelphia Eagles team. And I'm not even going to sit here and you know, harp on the HTTR and be like, oh, fuck you, you're in the basement with the, with the Giants where you belong. Leave a light on in case one of you has to take a piss in the middle of the night. Because it goes just so much beyond that. In that it's just so great to see such a competitive level of rivalry football go back on. It just gets the juices going. It just feels great. I know it may sound ridiculous to say shit like that, but my god, that was one hell of a fucking football game. Props to the fucking Redskins for, for playing such a hard game. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, like, again, you know, stick my dick in their mashed potatoes or anything. Though I am going to say, you know, fuck guys like Chris Parker Parker for that cheap shot on Nick Foles. And props to Jason Peters for running into the, to the lion's den and grabbing that motherfucker by the face mask and then fighting three other guys. But anyways, um... I, I just say I'm fucking speechless with this game. I don't even want to harp on how awful the defense was in the first half and how they couldn't force a punt to save their lives. But in the second half, all of a sudden, this team just flips a fucking switch. All of a sudden, they're forcing a punt, forcing a punt, forcing a punt. Big stop on third down. Big stop on third down. The first half, Cousins looked like Joe fucking Montana. Second half. He's throwing errant passes, receivers are dropping shit, he's doing bad reads, and it's just... Uh, it's just such a, it's such a, such a fucking phenomenal game. It had everything. That missed field goal, which that bong is still resonating, I'd imagine, in every single Washington Redskins fan's mind, as well as the players on the field. Bong! I don't know how Horbath misses that... F yeah, I call him Horbath. I don't know how Horbath misses that from 33 yards. We got our rookie kicker that's cashing him in from 50 plus yards. Just one from 50 plus yards today. He has more than one this year. Anyway, uh, fuck you, Alex Henry, by the way. Props to two people in this game. One which I already mentioned, which is Jason Peters. Jason Peters went over that sideline, probably knowing in his head that he's going to eje get ejected for the actions of what he was doing. But he stepped the fuck up to stick up for his fucking quarterback. His quarterback that was busting his fucking ass all game, playing in front of just a shoddy makeshift offensive line, getting hit every single time he dropped back in the pocket for fucking going over there and saying, motherfucker, don't go chest bumping with a player after a cheap shot, fuck face. I'll get right in your fucking grill, fucker. For Jason Peters to go over there into that hornet's nest and fucking throw down with no fucking fear. He's going to earn so much fucking cred in this town. I can tell you that right now. And the other person, Nick fucking Foles. Anyone out there that has doubts of this guy or just wants to fucking hate on him because he came up small in this time or that time, he earned his fucking stripes today. He played in front of an offensive line of all replacement players. There wasn't even a single other backup on the bench to come in the game once Jason Peters got ejected. And once Kelsey got out of the game, fuck, man. Every single time Foles dropped back to pass, that offensive line was just letting a guy get through and not keeping the pressure off. Nick Foles was getting hit on every pass, thrown into the ground after every pass and still managed to win the fucking game because it sure as hell wasn't Sproles this time. Sproles wasn't coming back with his miracle yards after reception plays. It wasn't Shady McCoy, who, by the way, was fucked up in the head after that hit in the first quarter, and frankly, he shouldn't have come back in the game. I'm sorry, Shady, I love you and all, but I want you to play a full season of football here. Props to Nick Foles. I had an ounce of doubt as to whether I thought he should be the starting quarterback on this team for years to come. He earned that today. He more than earned that today. That was one of the most toughest, grittiest wins I've seen an Eagles quarterback ever get under his belt. Yeah, Nick Foles has had more impressive looking games like that game out in Oakland last year. He threw up seven touchdowns. 
but my god, he wasn't he wasn't fighting for his life on every single play like he was today in front of this makeshift offensive line. An offensive line that still did just enough, and Nick Foles who still did just enough to win this game. To win this game against a team that was hitting, hitting all game. Cousins looked like Joe fucking Montana in this game. And the Eagles still found a way to win this game. A win is a win is a win is a win. Uh, Washington, you can't be disappointed with that effort today. And you can't be disappointed out of the play of Cousins. Yeah, he started having some aired passes in the fourth quarter and, and mostly in the second half. But he more than gave you a shot to, to win this game. There's not much more you can count out for a guy that's just thrown in after your starting quarterback gets injured. But you know what? It's just a good game. And again, I'm not going to sit here and you know piss on the Redskins fans or anything like that. Because this is what rivalry is all about. It's about meeting on Sunday and having a knockdown, drag out fucking brawl, and that's what you had today. Eagles are the first team in NFL history to win their first three games after trailing each one of the three games by at least 10 points. The fact that they went into the halftime with the lead, I was like, how is this possible? They look so bad. And that's the thing, this team doesn't get down. They don't get their spirits down. They stay in, they fight, they fight, they fight, they fight. Thank you, Polk, for being the first one to return a kick for a touchdown in, since 2008, I think they said. Holy shit. Just so, just so many fucking game balls to pass around in this. Uh, and, oh, look at this. Jordan Matthews, Deshaun Jackson's replacement. Two touchdowns for the rookie today. Two. Deshaun had that nice little long burner, that 80-yard touchdown, which was, you know what, it was, it was actually kind of fitting that he got that long bomb touchdown. It was kind of fitting, but it wasn't enough. And frankly, the guy that we drafted to replace you on this team, maybe not an exact skill, but to replace your spot at wide receiver, got one more touchdown than you did, Deshaun. Have fun in D.C. Anyways, a good fucking game. Just a good fucking game. And... I can tell you right now, if this team, if this Eagles team can get LaShawn McCoy going, because he's been, he's frankly been an irrelevant factor on this team this year, comparatively to what he's done in past years. If, the, if this team gets LaShawn McCoy going, there's no one this team can't beat. No one. Because just drive and determination can beat so many teams as it is. God forbid you get a team firing all cylinders the way they can with a double running back threat in the backfield. Get LaShawn McCoy going. Oh, fuck. Bring on anyone. Bring on anyone if LaShawn McCoy turns his game on. Oh, fuck. Anyway, good fucking game. Good fucking rivalry. I just, I, I'm just, I'm out of energy. I'm out of energy after watching that shit. I felt like I ran a goddamn marathon. Twice. Good play calling by Chip. Um... Of course, there's a few plays here and there that are kind of questionable. Oh, man, man, oh man, this fucking team. It falls with that final uh, crunch time first down to Casey of all people. I was like, holy shit. Anyway, good fucking game. I can't say that enough. Good rivalry matchup, and I can't wait for part two down in D.C. Oh, in Virginia. Well, anyway. Or is it Landover, Maryland? Uh who cares? Have a good day, everyone, and fuck the Dallas Cowboys. God damn it, Rams. God damn it. 21 to nothing, and you blew it. Homer just wanted to chime in at the end. So I'll add it one more time. Fuck the Dallas Cowboys. Take care, guys.